And here we go. What up, boys? What up? What's going on? What's good in the hood? It, I know it's late. I know it's a late stream. I know it is. But I've been putting together a masterpiece. An absolute masterpiece in the office. And it's not even completely done yet. What is it, the word that Doc says? I'm at the top of the mountain and I'm only halfway up. Right? Is that what he says? The great two time. All right. All right. Let's give a shout out to the boys in the channel. Ghostface, what up, baby? Welcome to the stream. Space Mobile, welcome to stream, baby. How you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Logan Fogg, welcome to stream. Can't wait to see you on see you on Saturday. Hey, DJ McLean. I'm glad you're gonna be able to make it to the seminar on Saturday. I got a lot of fun stuff planned. Um, just to give you a heads up. When I do my seminars, I typically like to teach in concepts, right? Because I can always come and show you guys how to do certain things, but you'll forget it. Fuck, I'm out of Jordan Almonds. God damn it. Ah! Oh, well. It is what it is. Maybe the wife can bring me some Jordan Almonds. But... Seems says, I love you, DJ. I love you. I love you all. I love y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Space Mova. A good luck out there, champ. Thank you, sir. All right, boys. We're getting right into it, but welcome to the stream. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to know we go live. I'm sorry I have not been live for the last past couple of days. I've been busy trying to get my office back together and rerunning all the wires. So big shout out to my man Driscus because it took me six hours to get one thing done. Actually, seven or eight hours. But we finally get done. One step back, two step forward. Let's climb the mountain. Let's dominate. Balance, speed, and momentum. And guess what? We're at the tippity top of the mountain, but we're really only halfway up. Should I get his book? Was this book pretty good? Was this book good? I didn't read it. I, I never thought to get it, but is this book good? Because if it's good, I, I, I will I will get it. Are you waiting for Dead Space run reviews? It says it's good. I beat Dead Space 1 already. That's the hardest thing. I just don't think Dead Space would be a fun game to play. I mean, obviously it would be fun, but I just don't know if it's something I want to relive. That makes sense for everybody. I'm super excited, man. Office looks good. I'm ready to play some Tarky. The game of the, the game of the month right now, the game of the year. All right, we just let everybody know in Discord we, we, we're gonna laugh. I have a question. Is there a way to make the chat like Is there a way to make pop out chat? There we go. That's a lot better. I was wondering if there's a way to make chat like the actual back. No. I don't know if that there's a way to make the chat a lot bigger. That makes sense. Booty sweat. The beer luscious. Booty sweat keeps the beer luscious. Smith Mova, speaking my language, brother. Hey, All right. Can't wait to meet the goat. Mm -hmm. Have you played the new God of War? I have not. It doesn't seem interesting to me. It really doesn't. It it doesn't interest me whatsoever, man. Like I love the story of Kratos and his son. 
Priest. Is that his name or his son? Love that story, but man, for the longest time, I haven't really cared. I haven't really cared about, uh, I haven't really cared about, um, the game. Actually, I'm going to try to go in this. Um, uh, actually, I need to sell some shit because last time I was trying to throw some shit in my, my bag. I couldn't even, I should, you know, that's why. I had a hundred thousand rubles, boys. This in Tarkov is what we like to call your boys broke as shit. Michael Sauce, what up, baby? May 5th is next fight. Yeah, May 5th's my next fight in Colorado. So I'm getting ready for that right now. I'm just been busy. Kids and wife. Just kidding. All right. Okay, let me see. All right, I gotta sell some shit. Fuck, man. Okay, you in here. What? Ears there. I feel like going out fucking thick right now. I feel like I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna repair this. Let's repair that. And got twenty seven thousand dollars to repair that. So I'm just gonna discard it. Actually, I'm gonna throw it at somebody. Throw it on the ground. I might. Yeah. Take that. Vaseline. What gun should we take out tonight, boys? Uh, he will fight. Yeah, I'll fight Adrian Morales. It's the trilogy fight. This is my first trilogy in my career. I don't know my fucking gun. I'm taking the fucking. Heron Pro, what up, babe? Welcome to stream. Trying to go through my inventory real quick so I can sell some shit. Maybe not. Maybe that. Uh, those. Just trying to make room for my. Easy. Man, my daughter's still awake, and her ass just won't go to fucking bed. I don't know why she won't go to bed. It's literally like a mystery to us. Like she'll run all damn day at the gym. When, it, when it's time to go to bed, nope, she just doesn't go to fucking bed. Do you think John Joseph is gonna destroy Ghana? Mm, I'm not sure, man. The thing that like I I love John Jones. I think he's one of. The, I still think he's the goat. I think the biggest thing John Jones is gonna have to deal with when it comes to Ghana is how well he moves as a heavyweight. He moves, in my opinion, he moves, he probably moves better than John Jones on the feet. But moving isn't necessarily as good as long as John Jones has his timing down and he, you know, he's confident with the, you know, going in with the skill set. So I think that's what's going to come down to is, uh, just John Jones going out there and do, do what he does best and just be dynamic, use his wrestling close distance. When he gets to the part in the fight where he he excels, which I think will probably be just be more around it, I think he'll, you know, he should be taking the fight under his uh, control. My daughter's the same way. Her energy all day still it has to get her sleep. It's just so weird. And then when we give her fucking melatonin, she doesn't. She she goes to bed super hard, but she wakes up later in the day, and it's like, damn it. Well, later in the night, and it's like, damn, is it worth giving her? You know melatonin or is it just better just to try to get her to sleep like it's just so frustrating it's 
So frustrating. That's not great. You can't even sell that, right? Yeah, you can even sell it. Those are $112,000. Damn. God damn it. Okay. Nine, that's all I have. Damn, we need a chance to play with the, the boys today, but I heard they made a lot of changes on the game. I heard they made a lot of uh, weight changes in the game, so I'm super excited to feel it. Where's my marketing score? for? Were these the markers for Shoreline, I think? I think. How many bandages? No bandages. Uh, like the video, boys. Uh, crazy recoil changes. Yeah, I'm hoping they re hopefully for the better. I'm assuming for the better, right? Because it is funny. You can go online and see some people shoot like the actual guns, like the ump five, and there's like literally no recoil. You get in this game, it's like you got fucking firecrackers in your hand. <laughs> Okay, da 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 got heals. I'll bring another heal just in case. Okay, we'll bring that. Uh, food and water. Okay, so let's see where we're going. After, I still need to kill raiders downstairs. Dabs. Hit that. AJ Smith dropping five dollar donation. It says, "Sorry if I had if I had said something to make you mad, or some of you don't respond to me anymore." Jay Smith, what are you talking about, dog? This is the first time I've seen you talk all damn day. I mean, obviously I'm getting ready to go out and fight. So if I haven't messaged you since, then uh, I apologize. Oh, the amulets. I thought we did that. Oh no, that's in the opposite way. But nah, Jay Smith, you, you got five on it. Nah, dude, I'm not mad at anybody from the stream. I don't have that key. Can't do that gunsmith yet. I don't want to do it yet. Okay, scrap my won't. You know what? I don't want to go to Shoreline. I hate Shoreline. You need a scab drunk box for that. Well, shit, you want to donate some money? You can. I'm going to go to reserve. Get my, get my whistle wet. Talk to the chat. Yo, if you need uh photos in camp, I got you. I take... Photos for Chandler, uh, Tim Delaney. I appreciate that, but I live in uh, Washington State, so I think we don't live in the same area. If I did live where Michael Chandler lived, then I would love to have you come take pictures. But unfortunately, we don't live in the same spot. But I truly appreciate that. Would you play Spider Man when it comes out? Nah, I ain't playing Spider Man, dog. I feel like that game is more for, you know, Spider Man is more for movie game. Yeah, Hermpert, I do want to make a tier list uh, video. I also want to make a tier list video of the guys that I think are S tier and like lower tier and street beefs. I think that'd be a good. I think that'd be a good one. I, I'm not too concerned about making a a, a, a tier for the best martial arts because I think all martial arts are pretty good. They're all good in certain time and aspects of a fight, right? Like. You know, I like Sambo. I like Sambo over Jiu Jitsu when it comes to mixed martial arts. But when you put Sambo against, you know, Jiu Jitsu, so far, all the Sambo players have lost in in a circle, in one championship. Am I fucking serious? Okay, God, I hate my feet crack. I hate it. DJ, I don't know if you keep up. With the boxing too much, but who do you got? Javante Davis or Ryan Garcia? I got Javante Davis, baby. Uh, salute to money in the chat. Uh huh. Yeah, see, Jay Smith, you haven't been talking at all, so I don't know why you think I'm mad at you, bro. How could you question PC? You never can. PC is the best, best thing ever. I got the gaming PC over there. 
If you guys want to see what the game PC looks like here, I'll take a picture right now and post it in Discord. Look at this fucking thing just work. Look at this fucking thing just work, man. It is sexy model. I want to get a new one. All right, if you guys want to see what the game piece looks like, go to our Discord. No, oh, I need to take a picture. Obviously, only the best. Forge your PC. Brave little spider, what up, baby? Roms. I truly don't see how anyone in 2023 can think console is better yet the only time i'll say console are my lights too bright or are my lights perfect what do you guys think you either too bright or they're perfect just drop the pc two pv tim loving uh retro consoles are awesome yeah, when it was Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, yeah, that's when the console were the, the best because you can get those fucking games. I like Jones, baby. Rich New Sports Report. Oh, God, here come all the fucking... Who do you got? Jones versus Gane. Who do you got? Jones versus Gane. He's my favorite streamer. Oh, Jesus, I can't even see that. Nintendo 64 was fucking undefeated, too. That was a great game. Dreamcast was amazing. Power Stone was amazing off that damn system. Like, Dreamcast has some bangers, too, man. I would never find any street beefs. Looks like a Tron Legacy computer. Thanks, man. Once I get a new PC, I'm going to take my Elgato capture card out of my streaming PC and make my new gaming PC that has a 3080. I'm going to put that as a stream PC and then hope I get a 4090. Rip John Dotson. I can't believe he passed. I hope you aren't too affected. Shallow Don. I love when people do that. I love when people come in here and try to make things to somebody passing away because if you are lying we will ban you if you are telling the truth then we will seems like john dotson's alive and well my friend well It's always good to come into chat and try to be funny when you're really not funny. Where the fuck is he at? You guys already banned him? I didn't get a chance to get him. I think it's him. I'm going to make sure he's out of here. All right, there we go. He's out of here, boys. Yeah, I don't think that's funny. I don't think that's funny one bit. It's like, what do you like? Sometimes when I think about when people do that, it's like, what do you plan on accomplishment? What do you plan on accomplishing when you do that? Literally, like, what do you plan on accomplishing? Because if you plan on accomplishing something that's good, you do something like that, then okay, go right to fucking head. But. If you, you know, yeah. So we got him the fuck out of here. All right. And I'm not sure what I'm not yet. Well, the office is all good, baby. So I'm trying to get this 25%. All right, here we go. I got to bring my Gold XLR closer. Let's see what we got here. Marbles. Okay. I did a run here the other night. Oh, actually, I did a run here earlier today testing out the system, Naya. 
and these guys were killing raiders and they killed all the raiders and then i was hiding one of the guys threw his backpack i took it and i took i took the level five armor too and ran and like hey you asshole get back here i said fuck you i play fortnite i do not play fortnite I, I just never, like, Fortnite was cool, and I think what separated Fortnite from every, everything else was the building. Now that nobody plays Fortnite because they don't have to wear that building anymore, kind of defeats the purpose of playing Fortnite, if you ask me. Just, just kind of like my, what the fuck is that? A wing scroll? A AR-15 unique AR wing scroll? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. You don't know if that's supposed to be silence or what? Building in a game, got out of control. Well, I just, you saw like people who actually really excelled at that part and who didn't. And I wasn't one of them who excelled. So I'm not going to act like I was a, a meta builder. I, I hated building. I freaking sucked at building. What the butter thing? That's the body. Oh no! Who got this guy? Yo, what up, baby? What up, baby? Look. You've been down here a long time. Clean, clean up the place, huh? Well, there's somebody already down here. Dog good, baby. Come on down. Another friendly scav. Good, bro. Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Who do you got? You know what? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to think about Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira. You know, I think Alex Pereira is a better striker, obviously, um, from his time in, you know, K... Uh, was he in K1? No, he was in Glory. Um, So, I, I think on his feet, he's going to have to get it, but I think Jamal Hill is... He's a hungry boy. You got a hungry man like that. It's... This guy's just missing all this juice. Parker sort of rolled three times over... Over three times in his bed when we saw this. I did eat your wood. Uh, like shivery. I play shivery. I'm not a fan of it. What is this? Garbage. One of these every inch. We're gonna just get two... We're gonna get two streams in here. I mean, two raids. I gotta go to bed, boys. I don't wanna be up all damn night playing. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to the game when we get back home. Alright, trip. Damn, it looks like a squad of boys came out here. I think Shuri is too slow place. Yeah, it's too slow place. I watched it. I wasn't too impressed with it. Yeah, so. All right, well. What are the extracts? I think I'm think going to go to um, Ace. I'm going to get lucky and get some Raiders there. Did you watch Avatar 2? I have not seen Avatar 2 yet. I think the next movie I'm looking forward to watch is Ant-Man and the Wasp in Quantum Mania. That movie's gonna be straight fire. It's been I, I'm waiting for a pick my kids. Dude, I don't think my kids can sit for three for an hour and 45 minutes. I took my kids to go see La La Crocodile. They couldn't even sit through that fucking movie. That movie was like night, like Movies like fucking, I don't know. The movie's like 82 minutes long. They couldn't even sit through that motherfucker. So the thing that my kids can sit through a fucking three hour and 26 minute movie is 
probably unlikely gonna happen. So I'm not gonna waste the money. What does level five armor stop? Uh, Jay Smith, it stops some pretty good ammo, right? Like, you know, it probably stops a little BP. Server shut down in nine minutes. What the fuck? Well, I guess we need to do street beef reaction. Man, is that the server or this map is going to search? Okay, the server, I hope. What the hell is a train station? The animal TV recommitted to the mighty community squad. A fan says I was t 18. I'm 26 now. Finally, it makes big enough to watch you fight. Got a cage side ticket from me. Where can I buy some merch to rep the squad? Guys, I got a brand new. I just updated the logo. And. I got. I got. I got it. But. I haven't took it to print yet. Because I don't know a printing company that can do it. So unfortunately, my friend, I don't have any merch, merchandise available right now. But if you stick around, we will give you some merchandise. Big Daddy Rye, what up, baby? How you doing tonight? How the babies? We got here. Shroud. What up, baby? I think the train's coming. Is the server shutting down, or is that just this map? Let's see if the raiders are here. Come on. You take him out. Oh, no raiders. Any readers in his bitch? Why does it do that? It pisses me off. Probably will write the logo before I put it. What? No. All good, baby. Friendly scab. Friendly scab. Man, I was hoping there'd be some fucking scabs in this bad boy. Come on, Shaq. Are we here? Here we are, boys. Is it, uh, what is your favorite gun in this game? The gun that has the best recoil? That's my favorite gun in the fucking game. Servers for four hours. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Alfonso, the servers are stopping. What up, Driscus? Driscus, how does the mic sound? Does it sound a lot better? It, it feels like it sounds better. Jesus Christ, Riley. My favorite game of all time is not Clay Fighters. Game is down now. What game is down? This game? Say it ain't true. Sound crazy. Avatar is crazy, man. Tarkov is down. What the fuck? Maintenance. Oh, that recoil is a lot better. Wow. Dude, I feel like I should just... L I feel like this train's not gonna fucking leave. 
a warzone 11 on dead space release on steam in 10 hours i don't know if i'm gonna play dead space i don't know if i'm gonna play it i think one championship should create a game i think so why not i mean i don't know if there's a market for it i don't know how much money the last uh ufc game got you know but i don't know that's up to them they want to do that I mean, would I make a fighting game? Like, I would make a fighting game. But I wouldn't make a fight simulation game. Uh, tomorrow during 27 at 6 a.m. 1 a.m. Eastern. Which is... Now. Uh, big... A Maxi already gave consent when I signed a contract with him like six years ago. Yeah, so I only, I mean, you pay like when you sign a contract, you, you sign it over. VR boxing games are, are fun. And I have seen undisputed boxing. Dude, I'm worried about this train. I feel like we should go underground, boys. Fuck this. I'm going underground. Yeah, fuck this. We're going underground, man. I don't want to miss getting out because... Miss my fucking around. <laughs> no, recross so shit. <laughs> Fan of volleyball? What? You cocksuckers! Nikita, I hope you have fucking explosive diarrhea tonight. You hear me? God damn it. Fuck. I'm so glad I didn't wait for that goddamn train too, by the way. Damn you, Nikita. I fucking pay for that boy. All right, boys. Sorry, DJ. I joined the stream and gave you bad luck. It's okay. It's okay. Jumper servers are broken. Loving up. Yeah, the servers are down for the next four hours. Well, my black ass won't be on. Okay, boys. You guys want to do some reaction time, or you guys want to want? You guys want to play some? Uh, what else we got in this computer? We got. Ah, uh, 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 I have played Warzone. How good is Warzone right now? Is Warzone still good? Was the game trash? Yeah, Warzone. I feel like I got another game on here, don't I? Warzone. Oh, and I can play Elden Booty too. I don't have Tetris. I'll play some Elden Booty. Or oh, maybe we do some Street Beef reactions. Game is still trash. I'm not a big fan of Apex. I see a lot of trash. I see a lot of trash in the chat, and I don't want trash on my new setup. So what I'm hearing is you guys are telling me I need to re-uninstall that game. Reactions? All right, let's do some reactions. Let's do it, boys. Okay. Reaction time. Oh, let me check the Discord. Is there any good reactions in there first? Damn, fucking things down. I was ready to get some loot. Okay, reaction. 
Oh, shit. Not doing that one. You saw this one already. He puts his boxing up against a wrestler. You won't believe. What? Monkey kickboxing a funny show of Baycock. Where takes on knife holding man? The most insane fight you ever seen? Oh lord. This is, is one of the most epic Larry Shiv fights solo too. Okay. Saw Poppy, I watched that. Saw Poppy A actually got legit boxing. Well, he's pretty decent. Beach versus Menace Mike. We already watched this one. We already watched this one, right? Iraqi Assassin versus um Ouch. North Carolina. Is this how Street Beef starts? Ooh, Baby Hole versus Sensation. I actually want to watch that one. I want to watch this one. I want to watch that one. I'm sorry. That's not going to work. What is it? Baby Assassin versus Sensation? Baby Hulk versus Sensation. Hulk. The pre fight interviews. They do, they do pre fight interviews. Ooh, 2.3 million views. Okay, here we go. I'm excited for this one, boys. All right, in three, two, one. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate all the love and the subscribers and the likes. We're back with another Street Beef reaction. We got Baby Hulk versus, ugh, versus Sensation. You guys dropped it in the Discord reaction. Looks like our man Baby Hulk. Baby Hulk has gone on and fought in uh, amateur mixed martial arts so he's fighting under sanction rules now but this is him fighting in street beef we watched sensation fight before it was a world title fight so we're gonna watch these two gentlemen throw down if you like it sub well, subscribe like and drop a like on the bell and let's see what we got here boys oh what the f oh i don't want baby hulk versus piano i want baby hulk versus homeboy sensation sensational right, here we go Mute it just in case. Oh, we don't have to mute. Here we go. And boys. I'm a little rusty. I'm going to lie to you guys. I'm going to lie to you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm a little rusty. What the hell's going on here, boys? Okay. It's going to be a fun matchup. I asked for this. I know what I got myself into. Baby Hulk, 5 foot savage, 135. Women to North Carolina, Salty Dog Jiu Jitsu. Fort City Sports Performance, man. Second fight of the day. Feels good. Let's get Second it. fight of the day. We are back with another title fight. Let me ask y'all a question. Uh. What champion do you know that says, can I defend my belt twice in one day? Baby Hulk. That's the only one. Hey, what? There ain't been no professional fighter who's ever done that before. The only time a professional fighter fights twice in a day was back in the day in Pride. When it become when it was uh the world a uh, world grand prix they were fighting they were fight the very first fight of the night the semifinals and they fight the finals at the end of the night. One, this man comes to me and asks to defend his belt twice in a day, and this is his second title defense. So let's get it. The challenge, <laughs> sensation, three and one in Satan's backyard, man. And in this corner we got the champ, the Look microweight champ. Look at him. Six and one in the yard. Baby Hulk. Be safe, fellas. Fight you got on. that saying armor on, boys. Fight number two. Round one. Fight. There we go, boys. Yep. Yep. You see how Baby Hulk doesn't really react to those? He's doing a good job uh, of um, blocking it, but he doesn't do a lot of movement when he reacts. He's always keeping that distance. We, yep. And he does a good job of closing distance, being a shorter fighter, not overreacting to sensations kicks. 
for the takedown using the cage. Very good. Oh, oh, lands right inside control. That's what you want. You all always laugh when I see. I don't laugh, but each time you get somebody in a takedown and you land in guard, it's not very good. But if you can land a side control, very, very dominant takedown. You land right in the side control. You go right to work on your submission game, and that's what we saw Baby Hulk just do. Get the guard. Get the guard. Get the half guard. He's back right there. Perfect. I think Baby Hulk is probably the best guy we watched so far in Street Beefs. Like, technically, how he does everything, I think he's probably. The best one. Oh, that's nice. Back. Get it back, Abel. Get it over. Back over. Nice. All right. Now you got it. Now, Baby Hulk needs to come up, mount. There. Good job. Get his head out. Get his head out. Cause that's his post. Ooh, since he's doing a good job. You got an elbow right there. You got an elbow right there. Good. Turn him to the cage. Stay the same way. Yep. Turn him down again. Nice. Bear hug. Go right to mount. Like I said, man. Turn your back. Do not turn your back. Ooh. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the elbows as amateurs. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. He's him. Uh, he was throwing his head in the damn cage. <laughs> Crossing distance ASAP. Crossing distance. Oh, he overhand right. That was a mud. That mud made him slip. Great takedown. Boom. Each time Baby Hulk takes him down, he lands in side control. Very, very good guard pass right there. You get a takedown, free guard pass if you're able to lock the knees up. And that's why each time Baby Hulk has done every single takedown, he lands in side control and he always is already ready to move to mount. Mount. Oh, yep, trying to get that arm. He's doing a good. He's got to get right space between them. So he's got to get those hands, get those hands in front of his face and push down on um, sensation space right there. That's what you are right there. Boom. Boom. Get them hooks in. Hooks in. Boom. Right there. That's. That's that's a finish right there. Pounds is pounds is pound. Oh, oh there's a struggle there. Oh, he's gonna lose that. He's gotta roll again. Oh, right there. That's game right there, boys. That is game. Oh no. Okay. Got an armbar right there if you wanted to. Just squeeze, just squeeze, just squeeze. Just chill, sensation, just chill. 15 seconds, get up. Keep breathing, bro. To your feet, to your feet. I mean, he's got it. I know you're tired, bro. You gotta get up, sensation. There you go, Dave. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. Guys, I can tell you. Round three. Every single time I watch Street Beef, anybody who has a legit grappling background, which we're seeing, is can be very dominant. Baby Hulk has taken him down every single round. He's passed guard every single round. He's had his back. He's had him flattened out. Grappling is legit if you're getting a street fight. Even in a mixed martial arts fight. Right there, we're going to cross distance. Up. Crossing distance. Whoa. That high kick. Only bad thing is once uh, Baby Hulk gets to a certain distance, he ducks his head. But we're right back where Baby Hulk is very dominant. Right? That's, that's, Free that leg. Free that leg. Stand it up. Keep it standing. Watch his eyes. There you go, Dave. That dirt. They got it. I don't know why they don't have a mat there. They should put a mat there because... 
you know, if he touches the grass, the, if his hand touches the mud, and he touches the face, the dirt in his eyes. You need to stand up. <laughs> yeah, I got fucking Hulk on top of me. Yeah, the grappling is so dominant. Room, right to mount. Armbar right there. Armbar right there. There's armbar right there. Stop this. Get up, get up. Done. Get up. Done. Get up. Done. Done. Good job. That's right. That's right. I love you guys. Follow your dreams. I don't give a f good, how short they say you are, how small they say you are. Get that shit. Damn right, baby. Don't matter how small you are, get that shit. That was a good one, man. Uh, the biggest thing I was going to uh, take away from this is Baby Hulk is pretty, he has a high. Excuse me, I don't want to say high, but he has a good I a fight IQ. What I mean by that is each time Baby Hulk gets in trouble, he knows he's a shorter fighter. He crosses distance and he takes uh, Sensation down, passes guard once he takes him down, starts to move to mount or taking his back, getting the hooks in, flatten him out, rain down punches. He knows when he doesn't have the submission, he starts raining down punches. And then he also goes for some, uh, he was trying to go for that uh, rear necker choke. Uh, the second round, then the third round, when he knew he was going to be able to get it, he just started pounding him out. He heard the ref say, if I think you've had enough, I'm going to stop it. He let go and just started throwing punches. He goes, okay, you're done. I don't want you to take any more. So that is when you know a fighter has a good IQ. So, guys, I enjoyed this one, Baby Hulk. I think he's probably S tier when it comes to street beef. GG's, like, subscribe, hit the button when we drop another one. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoy this one. Baby Hulk is pretty good. He he's pretty good. Every single time I've seen him fight, it's always been really really good. But we had a couple. Uh, we had a donation and a brand new member to the channel, Aaron Perth. Thank you for the two dollar donation. You should do Car Jitsu reaction. I did that, and that's just that's just chaotic, man. It just the first the first person who can unbuckle their seatbelt and get that damn seatbelt around the other person's neck is pretty much a fucking winner. Mojo, welcome to the mighty community, my friend. I appreciate that. Okay, boys, we got another one. We got any more? Let's see. Early stoppage? That was not an early stoppage. You're getting beat the fuck out of. Appreciate you guys doing that one. Let's, let's go back to the Discord. Any more music? Ooh. Impact or promotion. Paul Cruz versus Hardick. Okay, we got some amateur kickboxing here. I actually like this. Let's do this. Let's watch some amateur kickboxing. All right, amateur kickboxing. Let's take a look at it. Wrong, wrong place. <laughs> that guy fucked this thing up. Um, okay, this is uh, Impacto 12 Cruise, Heart Shock, and this comes from us from 350 Dutch. First amateur fight, finish him second round via TKO would mean a lot if you got feedback. Okay, 350 Dalton. Let's make it happen. All right, all right. In three, two, one. What's going on, guys? We're back again with another reaction. Not a street beef one. This one comes from one of our viewers. He dropped his second, not his second, he dropped his first amateur fight in the Discord. It is a kickboxing match. So we're going to watch it, give him some feedback, and see what we got. I think amateur kickboxing, anything amateur uh, combat style is very good. It gets you prepared for the next step, which is professional. So I've had a very long amateur career. I think I did like maybe 25 fights. Uh, only 25 to 30, if you add all my jiu-jitsu competition, 
in my kickboxing, Muay Thai, shoot boxing, uh, boxing, all my MMA stuff. I think it was like 25 to 30 amateur fights. So we're going to break this one down. If you like it, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we drop another one. And let's get right to it, boys. Coming to the blue corner, it's Dalton Hartsock. Dalton Hartsock. We don't know which one is who. Who? Fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome. He got the top knot. I like that. We don't want that because we're gonna hear that. So let's go ahead and scoot forward. Representing Dragonfly Elite. Please welcome Dalton Hartsock. I'm assuming Dalton Hartsock is our man. He's got the top He's knot like a Kuma. The red corner stands five foot five inches tall. He weighed in tonight at 134.8 pounds. He is dressed in black. He is from Crawfordsville by way of Indianapolis, Indiana, okay. representing Maddox Martial Arts. It's Trevor Cruz. We got Trevor Cruz. Three, two okay. minutes. In the red corner. Okay, okay, okay. And Dalton Hartsock from Dragonfly. Where did you say Dragonfly? Also, went? the biggest thing that I love about Dragonfly amateur is that I think for your first three amateur fights, you should wear shin pads, big uh, shin pads, knee pads, big gloves. If you're fighting mixed martial arts, same thing with the legs, knee pads, shin pads, and big mixed martial arts gloves, maybe even six ounces. You can still knock somebody out with six ounce gloves, guys. So the whole premise of fighting those old baby ass gloves, there's no point, right? Like that's one of the things I love about pride gloves is that they were like four, four to five ounces, thick cushion on the front of it. And if you knock somebody in those gloves, you are a knockout artist. Okay. There we go. All right, so let's see how this fighters Ooh, do. Damn. Like that one, one, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, they, they good, good rotation on those kicks. So that's going to be, they're going to do some damage. If they hey, the, the guy in blue is pretty good. Let's see. Controlling distance. The biggest thing, too, when it comes to kickboxing. Oh, nice checking. Nice checking those low kicks. The biggest thing when it comes to kickboxing amateur, it's about who is the most active. Right, that's what the judges are looking for. Who's the most active? Oi. Mm. Nice I'm liking blue. I like the top knot. Block the head kick. Yeah, that's another one to the body. Right, he's doing a good job. Yeah, Even though he's a longer fighter, he's doing a good job of coming forward and throwing his combination. Um, and always responding. Right Each time he gets hit, he gives the guy a receipt. And, and red is going to probably use oh, his punches. Yeah, nice gonna left say. hand there. Yeah, he's, he's gonna go nice knee. Nice knee. That. He tried to lead out of that. Oh, so this is Muay Thai. He, he continued to throw some knees. Yeah, because hard sock in blue is, is definitely more of a, mm. a all around kickboxer. Wait, wait. You can see Thank he's you. kicking more. Yeah, the guy in blue's doing a good job. You see, each time he, he throws, he always lands with a combination. So he's starting to get tired now. He's not, he doesn't got that much pep in his step. He's winding up on some on decent yeah, leg some kicks knees. there. Ooh. Where's my sweep? Where's the sweep? Nice clinch in there. Ooh. Popping with a nice right hand there. Yeah, and good turn around, not staying in the corner. Nice check. Guy in blue is doing a good job checking. Very good job checking. With a couple of those right yeah. leg kicks earlier, so he check, he's going to start checking, checking them. Yeah. Let's see, that's the opportunity to see. Ooh, he got great well knees. Knee. Great knees. Yes, uh, nice, yeah, uh, the guy in blue did a good job of the combinations. Even though he's a longer fighter, he's crossing a distance and actually taking a fight to the shorter guy, which is you don't really see that when it comes to taller or shorter guys. Yep. You don't. You see that? Yep. Caught him with a short left hook and right. there's so overhand right. The, the blue is using the push kick really well. Uh -huh. um, to just keep him out at a distance. That's his the body. forte. He doesn't want to get close enough to get the punches, the power of the punches. So. Cruise. Only thing I would like to see more from the guy in blue is just more head movement. But he has a, see, more head movement. Cool like when he knows he's not going to strike, just keep the head moving off off the center plane. Off the center plane. So oh, oh he, excellent. But it, it probably is he okay? No, that looked like it was right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
out. He's out. He's out. He's out. <laughs> He's out. He's out. <laughs> Really, that was a hard. That was, it was a, hard a really shot. good. Technique. Oh my God! Wow. Can we get? Uh, wow. Wow. Is technically. Let me see if there's a replay. And he was able to. What did we just watch? His his weapons. Man. I don't know if he was so, throwing a tantrum fit. That was a good shot, man. Or. That was a good knee. What was going on? Because I am. <laughs> He's very controlled. There was nothing. No foul techniques. Nothing like that. Oh, that was an excellent. Yeah. Like he's combining. Break it, break it. Somebody told me you go page up. No, that's wrong. Somebody said you go page up or whatever the, the slow mo, but I think we get the gist of what happened here. Hang on. I think it was right here. Father knee. That knee right there. Oh, that was an excellent. Here we go. It probably caught him a little. No, that looked like. He's out. 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 All right. That was a great. Uh, the gentleman, um, Dalton is his name, I believe. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Dalton, uh, congrats on your amateur victory. I think you did a good job of throwing a lot of combinations. I think the, the biggest thing when it comes to the amateur kickboxing is being very active with your combination and landing, ending with the leg kick. And then when your opponent throws something at you, you have to respond immediately. It helps breaks up it breaks up their opponent's rhythm, right? So if you do that and you keep moving forward, you, you have a, a bright bright uh, bright career. So good job. Thank you so much for dropping this in Discord. I truly love breaking this down and I always love to see reaction. My favorite thing is when people get dropped or finished with body shots because the reaction, you can't make those reactions up. That reaction was priceless. Thank you so much, Dalton. That was absolutely, absolutely hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, know when you drop another one. One love, baby. <laughs> I gotta watch it again. I'm sorry. I'm such an asshole. Oh, man. Uh, at least Rod, uh, Radadi, thank you for the three ninety nine S R S A R. I have no idea what currency that is, but I appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next. No, I'm sorry, I gotta watch it again. Hang on, hang on. I gotta watch it again. I'm sorry. But he has a see the technical aspect. He's combining nice knee, other knee. So there oh. you go. That was an excellent. But it it probably caught him a little. No, that looked like <laughs> he's out. He's out. He's out. He's done. Yeah, really that was a hard Migo. advantage of his. I was trying to make sure he didn't. So. Okay, he's fine. There you go. There you go. Okay, he's fine. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to make yeah, sure he didn't break a rib or anything. I mean, anything, but guys, come on. He remind me of my daughter when she throws a fucking fit when she goes, Can I have two marshmallows? I know you can have one. Nah, 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 nah. So, boys, so far we're on a roll. Two fight, two fight breakdowns. Let's go again. Any more in Discord? But thank you, Dalton, for dropping that. Um, hopefully I will message Dalton right now and let him know. Ah, uh, shit was hilarious. You guys cannot say that was not funny. Kroger Herb Dean. I don't think it's Kroger Herb Dean. Yeah. Kroger Herb Dean. It was just. I want to do uh, West Coast Fair Play versus Vegeta. Oh my God. Vegeta Black? There's a Vegeta Black? I know there's a Goku Black. I didn't know there's a Vegeta Black. Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Is there a Gogeta Black? Oh, we got a. How can I like respond to this? Okay, here we go. Uh, reply. Not to everyone, what? There you go. Uh, just watch your video. Okay. UFC Fighter Heist. Oh, that's, uh, was that Bill Murray? I think it was, it was Bill Murray. All right, that. Uh, I could have beast. Versus Muhammad Gamma MMA fight. I already watched that one. They won Mighty Mo versus 
Yeah, whoever gets their seatbelt unlocked is going to win that fight. Beach versus Manu. Uh, yo, did you, if you haven't seen or nobody's this is one, definitely a good high-level amateur fight to break down. Beach versus Manu. I want to go back to Vegeta Black. I didn't know there was a Vegeta Black, boys. Beast versus Ryu Reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, we get to, I want to see uh, Vegeta Black. I didn't know there was a Vegeta Black. You soft kids, shut up. We already watched that one. Blind grappler BJJ black belt demonstration. Yeah, I want to watch that. That seems pretty badass. Yeah, I'm watching. We're going to watch this one, boys. I want to see this. This looks amazing. Once again, grappling. You can't be blind and fucking fight somebody stand up. You can't be blind and uh, do kickboxing. I'll tell you that right now. Like I said, grappling, if you're blind, you can, if you can feel and know where your opponent is all time, then you'll, you'll do pretty good. Clinton Terry, a blind grappler BJJ demonstration performed with his 15-year-old daughter. Okay, so he's going through the motions. He's not really competing, but that's still amazing. So I tell you what, guys, if I was blind, I don't think I would be a grappler. I, I just don't know if I would have uh, the drive to do that. I also you. I don't want to watch it. That's amazing, boys. The hammer versus uh, Celtic hammer was a slugfest. Oh lord. Okay, we'll do two more. And we're gonna call it. Okay. All right. In three, two, one. What's going on, guys? We're back. This is something totally different. This is a blind grappler. Demonstration performed with his 15-year-old daughter. I think that's absolutely amazing. Once again, I always think grappling is a beautiful sport. Jiu-Jitsu, Sambo, whatever it may be. But for this gentleman to be blind and to be able to do this, I haven't seen this before. It, once again, it was on my Discord. Somebody told me to react to it, and we're going to do it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to know when we go live, and let's get into it. Ready? Remember, don't rush, have fun. Nice. Damn. All right, pass. Here goes the bolo. She's going to do the bolo. He's going to do the bolo. Yep, bolo. Nice. A bit softer this time. <laughs> like I said, guys, the beautiful thing about grappling is that you can do it. You can do it by just feeling, feeling your, feeling your opponent, right? And the reason why you can do it by just being being blinded by feel is because every human body has the same extremities. What I mean by that? Two arms, two legs, a head, a torso, a neck. I mean, it's the, the blueprint will never change, right? It will never change. So if you spend your whole life, this gentleman is a brown belt, three stripe. He's got some years in the gi, right? So like me seeing this is very interesting. Firing. <clears throat> He's fucking. This guy would destroy everybody in Street Beast, boys. That's his guard. I feel this is his uh, belt testing. Yeah, it's, this is an amazing. Right now, he's working all the chokes. I think that was the baseball choke right there. Yeah, this has to be belt testing. Some gyms do belt testing. Some gyms, uh, every gym is different when it comes to uh, promotion. Knee slice right in the middle. Mount. Going up high. Iron bar, my favorite submission. 
hard. And one of the things we do too in grappling uh, is we grapple with our eyes closed. Work on the work on feeling. Work on using your senses to understand where your your opponent is. Resist frame before slamming. Oh, nice knee bar. Going to legs, toe hold, taking it back. Very nice. Yeah, dude, this guy's legit. I mean, everything he's doing is screaming the crop. Ours. Heal. What's that? What's that one called? That's a uh, lasso guard. Another arm bar. And the straight arm lock. Lock. Nice. Yeah, dude. If if you guys ever want to do something, any form of martial arts, I would always suggest grappling. I'll, I'll always suggest it because. For you to be able to manipulate another human's body and understand how it moves and how to take away the leverage and the, and the, the post is so powerful. So far powerful. Lasso guard again. One of my favorite techniques. We'll go up underneath, put over top. <laughs> Damn, I love, I love Gee Grappling. Because the, the brutal thing about I love about the gi is that the gi is a tool. And when you learn how to use that tool, it's just so fucking badass. <laughs> and I'm still learning. Uh, I just learned that the, the judo throw Sato. Sato Kori, I think it's called. I look like the um, paper cutter. Look different. Ironman's carry. The iron bar, very nice. If you would think is all, yes, the gentleman is blind. He is blind. Another fireman's carry. Oh, 
Yeah, he has to. Yeah, this has to be dome testing. Another fireman. Ready? Wait. Very nice. This guy can kick some, tear somebody up on the streets, walk around his his little you know pointer or pointer, and then he's like, "Give me all your money." Just reach in my pocket, grab all the money. He reach in the pocket and he destroys him. Bravo. Bravo. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, that had to be his belt demonstration. Once again, guys, I always tell you guys, I think grappling is such a huge, I mean, it's a beautiful art form, especially in the gi. In the gi grappling, I actually enjoy watching gi grapp. I like, I enjoy both of them, but gi grappling, if you know how to, if you can do it, it's so damn good. I mean, Tyron just got his uh, red stripe and his white belt. Um, the whole family grapples besides Tanith and Destiny, but all the boys in the house grapple. We love it. and. This guy being able to perform what he just did in uh, so it's a BJJ black belt demonstration. So it's probably for him to get his black belt. So kudos this man. I hope this guy was a huge inspiration to you guys. Enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, stick around for the next one. Amazing. All right, boys, we got time for one more. One more video. Yeah, baby, baby. Training with Steven Seagal for one day. Jesus Christ. Mm. I had no chance. Okay. I will do something funny. Anybody got any something funny? Hammer versus Hammer. I follow blind skateboarder Anthony. I'm pretty sure he competes in Judo Par Paralympics. Really? That's dope. Frank Hammer versus Bastard. Okay. Thoughts on karate combat? It's cool. Is there a minimum weight? A grappling? No, those are open weight. First life, sick. Glad to be here. Hey, Jojo from the mud. Welcome to the stream. Can I make you a sick logo animation in uh, Tim Donnelly? Uh, send me some of your work and I'll decide. I mean, I already got, I already got a logo animation coming up being made right now. Um, it should be done and like, I should be hearing something from the artist tomorrow. Dada versus Kimbo. We don't need to watch that. RIP Kimbo. A1 impact by one through six. Holy shit. Uh, the first 19, um, it is the studio that's doing, uh, Galactic Fight League over in, uh, yep. Yeah. That was his, uh, demonstration for a black belt to get his black belt right there. Cause he just gets his black belt right here. Blind grapple grapplers, black belt speech. That's absolutely amazing. Do some professional fighting reaction. Watch their crazy. It it, well, let me check Discord. I always like to go into Discord because it, it I actually use Discord what it's used for, which is people dropping the reaction. So let me go back to Discord. Discord. Actually, I have to close it because I got to get out of. Um... Okay, I guess. Discord. I can't wait to come back and play some more talk off. Yes, more training videos, please. Who me training? Uh, influencer boxer highlight. Love you. Okay. All right, Discord. Let's see what we got here, boys. Uh, bottom left wrestlers wear wrestling shoes. Take it or leave it. Okay, whatever. All right, let's see what we got here, boys. Beach versus We're watching Beach. Beach did very well for views. Everybody loves Beach. I guess he's a, a, a legend. Do you have any RDR? It's that one. I think we do fair play. Hang on. Don the Dragon Wilson highlight. 
No school kickbox from the Benny the Jet. Okay. Uh, crazy street fight ever. Oh, that one. I already saw that. That was amazing. Shout out to Brave Little Spidey for that one. That was amazing, Brave Little Spidey. I saw create a Dragon Ball character. 100 plus tier list. I suck at drawing, so I don't know if I can even show your hand. YouTube boxing is away right now. I agree. I mean, these, all these YouTubers have so much following and it transfers over to Vibri Buys. I mean, why not? Like, I already watched this one. Salt Poppy beat the hell out of that guy. Oh, he's gonna dance. Fair play. Is this? Yeah, Vegeta Black. I want to watch. I want to see Vegeta Black. Vegeta Black. All right, guys. Last one. Vegeta Black. Holy hell! I'm tired. Right into it. Okay, right into it. Okay, right. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. What's going on, guys? This is the last one of the night. We got another Shreve reaction. Fair play. One of my favorites because he likes to dress up in these costumes and dress down. And then we got, we've already watched Goku Black. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know there was a Vegeta Black? We're going to watch these two fight. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so we go live again. And let's get right to it. Vegeta Black. West, finally, we're back again. Welcome to the Wicked West Side, Vegeta Black. West Side. <laughs> Airplay Fighting Jersey. I want to thank West Coast for giving me the opportunity to come out here. And I uh, want to thank my friends and family and my wife for getting me to travel to come out here. Let's see what we get to. Does he have right, stitches on? Beeps. We got quite a match here for you. A little East versus West match here. In this corner, we have Vegeta Black. He's 1 0 in the yard. Woo -hoo! And in this corner, we have Fair Play from the East Coast OG Yard. His record in total is eight and two. Damn. Safe, fight hard, gentlemen. Hey. His wife supports it, so it's it's probably a boxing match. Yeah, it's a boxing match. Fair Play uh, reminds me of um. I like that head movie he's got going on there. He reminds me of Deadly from Street Fighter uh, 3, First Strike. Ooh, nice. Damn, he's, <laughs> he's got this hand here to catch that jab and to come up here, right? It's kind of really hard for people to, to do this, to go here. But you just saw what he did. He went here and blocked the hook, and then he also rolled the shoulder. You see a lot of people try to use that, right? Use that technique. But they don't understand the concept and be able to read the opponent's shot. So, okay, fair play. I see you. Watch this jab. He's coming up with it. <laughs> Locked it again. I like... Does anybody know what the... I want to know his reason for his, his costumes. Okay, let the guys find it inside. I like that. Oui. Nice body shot. I think these guys have the best yard when it comes to fight. They got a legit cage. They got some sand there. It's perfect. It's almost kind of Mortal Kombat style. Uh oh. He's got the suspenders off, boys. 
Ooh, nice right hand. Not those suspenders, I'll keep working. Right He's working the body with that right. There it is. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nine. See, I feel like fair play can go amateur boxing. Like, start doing like sanctioned amateur boxing. Break off and swing. Break off and swing. Mm. Okay, so fair play is doing a totally different style this round. Jam. <laughs> God damn, fair play. Look at him. So. First round, fair play was doing, you know, blocking the jab with it, the right hand, also the right hook, and then he also chucking the, the cross with his left shoulder, right? That was the first round. Second round, fair play is basically doing the Mike Tyson, just coming here and throwing the big shots. That's what he's doing. Let's see what he does round three. Good job. Good. You landed that one very nice. Play the timing there. Turn him around. Turn him around. All right, right back to that style. Damn. Oh, damn, I rocked him. Oh, no takedowns now. No takedowns. Hey. And they got cars on the lot, too. He's gassing. Fair play's gassing. He's also doing a lot of volume too. Keep jabbing. Use that range. Don't let him get that close to you. Dirty box. Dirty box right there. Keep it close, Root. There you go. There you go. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Each time uh, Vegeta Black tries to get out of the uh, range, Fair play closes that distance and gets one good shot in there or two. Nice right hand. Ooh, nice hook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. All right, round two. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's got his shirt off, boys. He's got abs. All right, he's going back to the first round. There we go. Ooh, shit. Shit. Now they fighting. Is that a double leg -like takedown? <laughs> now they're just brawling, dude. There is. Oi. Fair play has good tech. Uh, he has good. Um, he's very accurate. Like when he throws, it looks like he's he's always like from street beef level. He looks like he's very accurate when he throws his combinations. You know, what? I like this. I like this ref. This, this is a good ref here. We don't want Wolverine. He'll be like, freestyle fight. If you're not advancing, we're calling it. Nice uppercut. Ooh, nice block. Nice one, too. Wow. I like fair play just because he always comes dressed up and like as a detective and he always undresses. 
not that he's a man that he undresses. I just like how he just he comes in, he gets in. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Fucking karate stuff. Yeah, fair play. Why not? Oh, they actually scored it by rounds. That's awesome. So the biggest thing I like about, I always, I said it before, I always enjoy watching Fair Play because one, his outfit, he's kind of in the character. If you guys play Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, that's when they introduced Deadly, who is a boxer who comes in with suspenders. He has a little mustache, a little comb over. And I believe Fair Play just retired from Street Beasting and combat. I would have loved to see Fair Play actually try his hand in amateur boxing. I think he would do really good to get on a legit boxing coach. Um, he seems very athletic. He seems to understand the, the different shells and the different styles of boxing. And as somebody who's not even, a, I don't know if, it, if he has an amateur background, but I think he would have been really, really good as amateur boxer. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is another Street Beef reaction. Fair play versus Vegeta Black. We've seen Goku Black and Vegeta Black. Hell, I wonder if they got Gogeta Black. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we go live again, boys. GG's. All right, boys. I love watching Fair Play. Like, I'm sad. Let's see, let me see if Fair Play has. He has to have an amateur record. Fair Play. Uh, street. East. Yeah, I'm going to Fair Play Boxer. Boxer. Oh shit, is that him? That is him. Locked with Rio. Fair play. That is him. Holy shit, boys. It was four weeks ago. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You know, some of these guys who, who do the Shreepy things, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that they're able to go off and fight in, um, you know, is that uh, Rock Atlanta City Pro MMA debut. So he's going MMA. I would have loved to see him do this. See, this is the thing that always interests me. Is All right, here we go. He's getting ready for the next step. Hmm. Did Fair Play do any street beef reaction? You're gonna be another German monster you care at the hobby. <laughs> White Mr. Popo. <laughs> White Mr. Popo. Last amateur, Dejan versus Josh Grant at 185 wow. kickboxing title. Dejan Francis is not missing a single side of this hexagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout brings us three two minute rounds of championship kickboxing 180. Sorry, guys, I just want to watch this and we're going to call it a night. SKA regional championship. Controlling the action will be Wazlo Hube. Introducing first out of the blue corner from the Clarksville Fight Club. Trained by Eric Chester, wearing the red and blue from Clarksville, Tennessee. Welcome, please, Josh Tyringer! Coming at him from the red corner, from the room. Infinity Sniper Killer, I'm sorry, brother. Don't worry, you can watch the VOD, and I'm dropping all these videos down. I'm not, I'm not recording this video. Um... So fair play fancy. Okay. Now we were talking about the eye test. Um, 
Francis passes. <laughs> well, it looks like he cuts down to Quite make this weight and doesn't seem like Josh. And this fight was posted five weeks ago. Here we go. Oh, but he doesn't care. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> this is entertainment at its peak. I think Josh realizes he's got to take the fight yep, to him. And I got to give him a lot of respect. He knows what he's in for and he knows how he has to get there. But Dejon Francis is oh, teeing off. Massive left hand right there. And I don't know if we're going to see. Yeah, the street beat have it. had prepared him for amateur career. The amateur. Am where he's at now as amateur. And if I'm Dejon Francis, I just start doing another one of those tee-off sessions because it could be night-night. Yeah, Ramirez how, uh, Fight Club is... Uh, whoa, whoa. Imagine Shit. that landed. And I, I'm interested to see Dijon Francis is like, almost like Taekwondo karate style here. Oh, I don't think he, he needs any karate power here. Behind oh, hands. my God. Still, still a little... Still a little here. Still a little here. It's like one of these lands flush and it could be... It could be the end. But Carinder's hanging in there, man. He's doing a good job weathering the storm. Yeah, still oh, still here, you know. Yeah, I wish... So, uh, just as see I finished saying, he's weathering the storm. Nice amateur on amateur. Boys. And I didn't even find some of my amateur videos. Yeah, Cold War. So what I wanted to show you guys is when it comes to striking, you want to like try to keep your hands like nice and tight. Like when I punch, this one comes. When I punch, this one comes. Like so when I'm here. Like, uh, sh where the f how do you pause this shit? So each time I punch, I'm always, I'm always keeping my hands up, right? So hand is up, my shoulders hand, jab is going forward, hook, hands there, hooks there. Doing a your hands always got to be forward. Like when you move forward, your hands have got to, you got to do this, right? So fair play is still doing this and swinging. So I think he will benefit a lot from just trying to keep his hands up. And what I like to think of is like, I keep my hands here. So when I throw this one, this hand is here. When I throw this one, this one's here. Actually, actually, I don't want to um, do it. I have all the space behind me. I get up and show you guys how to do it, but I don't want to. I'm lazy. But that's one thing I think fair push it to start trying to do it is just trying to um, keep his hands like like e even here right like my hands are up and then as I threw that punch that hand comes up right so again hands are down hand comes up as I throw the reason why my hands are down is because I said it before you're quick like this you're not quick you can be quick like this but you're not as elusive so my hands are down they come back up. Throw the hand, throw the punch, but this hand comes right back up after I throw it. Hands are there, trying to guide, trying to guide. I throw the hands. I always throw hand exchange in front of my face. Um, look at Tammy. Uh, let me see what he's gonna do. Sorry, I'm just, I just muted it. He's actually closer. That's pretty much. You know that I can hit you. If I'm here, you feel like you're you're, you're safe. You're yeah, that's just distance it's control. Well, 
Look how heavy Henry was. He's losing so much weight now. He's almost down to like 135. But look when Mike Tyson throws. His hand's always up. Hand's always up. up. Hand's always up. I mean, Henry got that weight on him. Look at that calf. He's so fucking strong too, by the way. Like when I train with him, I'm like, dude, how the fuck are you that strong? He was like, I got that weight on me. All right, look at his hands. Look, look at his hands. Hands are always up when he throws. Yeah, boys. All right, boys. GG's. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate all the freaking donations, brand new members, likes, subs. I truly appreciate it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. I enjoy making it. Truly appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we go live. We'll be back Monday. Back to the stream. We got the whole new. Room set up. I can move around. Do so many different stuff in this bad boy. Be kind to one another. Enjoy each other. And join our Discord. It's free to the public. Uh, next time we come back on Monday, we're going to do some more giveaways. I want to give away some quantum energy squares. If you guys are right, stuff and nutrition, your body. GG's. We'll see you next time. Oh, guys. If you guys want to watch something funny, go follow this guy right now on Twitch. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. Go follow this guy on Twitch. I made a bet with him that he couldn't beat Elden Ring in 60 hours. Right? He doesn't have a lot of uh, followers, but um, wow, she's only at 6,000 viewers. That's very low. She's at like 40,000. Maybe people are deciding to go watch Pornhub instead of watching some chick on Twitch. Um, yeah, go watch What the Fuck Gamepad. So he's got to beat Elder Ring in 160 hours. If he doesn't, he owes me $100. He said he just beat Godric, the uh, Dragon Slayer. So we'll see what happens. But ladies and gentlemen, that is in the stream. GG's. Love you guys. Have a good night.